Previously, I made a video about using both laptop battery and cordless power tool battery for my Terrain Twister RC vehicles. Both batteries worked fine and their performance was about the same. Well, actually, the power tool battery was just a little bit better, as expected, but otherwise, I couldn't tell the difference. So this time I'm doing the same thing except that the vehicle this time has a higher performance motor. Would the performance be the same for laptop battery and cordless power tool battery? This time, let's find out. So this is the vehicle I'm going to use for this project. And here are the batteries. These are 2S battery pack, two cells in series. Their nominal voltage is about 7.4 volts and max out at 8.4 volts at full charge. This one is from a laptop battery. Discharge rate is about 4 amp. And here is the model number. And this one here is a power tool battery. The discharge rate is about 20 amp. And here is the model number. Coincidentally, both of these Battery packs are made from the same manufacturer, Sony. So let's get started. So first up, we got a laptop battery cell. Ready to go. All right, go. Go. Can't go anymore, can it? Try. Keep trying. And you go. Let's see what's up in there. Try it. Can you go? That's it. All right. All right, let's open it up. Check it out. See what's going on. The battery is pretty warm. See how warm it is. about 22 degrees Celsius see the normal ambience temperature of a battery normal temperature is 18 here we go ambient temperature is around 18 or 19 Celsius battery gets warm See how many volts we get. Seven point eight volts. Seven point eight three. Seven point eight four, and rising. So batteries, they have plenty of juice. But it just cannot perform because the discharge rate this battery is not enough to handle the current required by the motor. So next is my uh, cordless power tool battery.
Now I've been playing hard for the last five minutes non-stop. Let's check on the battery health. This one gets warmer. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight Celsius. Let's see what voltage we got here. Seven point nine volts. So as you can see, this battery pack handle the car just, just fine without any problem at all. It does get warm, but uh, that's what you should expect when you push it a little bit too hard. But it doesn't get hot, so it's pretty good. So as you can see in the video, the laptop battery is not capable of handling the load of no. this car. It can only run for about 30 seconds or so before it gives up completely even though the battery is still almost full. The cordless power 2 battery however works just fine even though it does get a little bit warm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two, two more cells in parallel to make it a 2S2P battery pack. That way it will have twice the discharge rate and so it will not heat up as much. And at the same time, I can get twice the runtime. Another advantage is that with a bigger size battery, it doesn't have to work as hard and therefore its longevity is improved in the long run. And that's all I have for now. And I'll see you in the next video. Perfectly round circle. <laughs>